All praises belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Lord of all the worlds. We seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our bad deeds and the bad results of our consequence of our actions. We ask Allah's countless peace and blessings to be upon his final and last messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today we're going to take two benefits from the Quran and the Sunnah. The first one is the superiority of offering Sunnah prayers in private. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Salatu rajali tatawu'an haythu la yarahu nasu ta'dilu salatahu ala a'yinin nasi khamsin wa ishreen. The voluntary prayer of a man done where people can see him outweighs his prayer done by where people can see him by 25 degrees. Now this shows the superiority of offering the voluntary prayers in private, meaning in your house. Sheikh Ruslan, may Allah preserve him, said that offering sunnah prayers in the home is an abandoned sunnah. Al-Amir al-San'ani, may Allah have mercy on him, said the voluntary prayer of a man refers to this was said here because most men pray in congregation. However, here the same ruling applies for women who pray sunnah prayers in their homes. Where people can't see him, this means what is evident from the wording is an empty masjid and a person's home are both included. Outweighs his prayer done where people can see him by 25. This refers to the degree of the prayer or 25 prayers. The reason for this status is because voluntary prayers were legislated to draw nearer to Allah. Hence, if an act of worship is done in secret, then it's further from showing off and seeking fame than acts done publicly. On the other hand, obligatory acts of worship were legislated to be carried out in public. Subsequently, these acts and rites help establish the religion where everyone sees them done. Shaykh al-Islam Abu Yahya Zakari al-Ansari, may Allah have mercy on him, said, only the super obligatory acts of worship were legislated to be practiced in homes. Reason being, this is the furthest away from Riyadh. Along with this, the angels descend with mercy. The Sunan acts which weren't included are the Sunan acts of Juman, Tawaf, Ihram, and Tarawih in congregation, translated and compiled by the one in need of Allah's mercy, Abu Ali Abdullah ibn Dwight Battle. So that's the virtue of offering the Sunnah prayers in the house. Now, the second virtue we're going to look at here 